give us the update on autonomous um, as you see it today. Yeah, definitely, Jessica. So I, I think the one thing that's a little bit um, counterinstinctive about Uber, and I, I was actually surprised when I joined, is that we're actually a supply-led business, which is the more drivers we have on the platform, uh, the lower surge we get on the platform, the better reliability in you know, our average ETA across the world is now four minutes. And as prices come down and reliability continues to improve, more people come onto the platform because it's a really easy way of getting around. So just like we are looking to add more human drivers on, onto the platform, we want to add more robot drivers onto the platform. Uh, and really what we want to do is it be a catalyst for the entire autonomous ecosystem, so to speak, by sometimes partnering with, sometimes investing in a number of partners. We obviously have the Waymo partnership. Uh, we expanded in Austin, we entered into Atlanta, uh, and that's doing really well, but we also have terrific partnerships with WeRide and Abu Dhabi. Again, a nice expansion there with Wave in the UK, Avride, May Mobility, Baidu, uh, Neuron Lucid together, many others, because as we get more autonomous robot drivers onto our platform, our platform becomes more reliable, uh, and as a result, we succeed. So we want the entire autonomous ecosystem to succeed. And I think partnered with Uber, we can drive a lot of growth there. 